Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. He's to the 20. He makes it to the 25-yard line. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Around the 24-yard line. He wasn't decisive at all on that option. And once he kept it himself, there was no place to go. From their own 24-yard line. Second down. Throws it in a hurry. He's taken down to the 38-yard line. Nice-looking play that time. Well, the defense was blitzing here, and again, great recognition by the quarterback to find the hot receiver. Makes the catch, and look out. He's tackled at about the 43-yard line. What we're seeing right now is just a great connection between the quarterback and his receivers. They make these plays look effortless. From the 43-yard line, first down. Pulls it in, and that's a first down. Well, the defensive backs completely jumped the run. Only the run was never there. It was just that misstep that allowed the completion. Fires that quickly to the tailback. And he's taken down around the 21-yard line. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. They'll bring him down at the 12-yard line. Keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. He makes the PAT. A seven-play, 76-yard drive, and the result, seven points. You know, when you can throw the football as well as these guys can, you don't necessarily always have to have a balanced attack because you're so proficient in throwing the ball. So our score, seven points. Gets to about the 27-yard line. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Throwing right. Oh, what an interception. He gets hit out of bounds around the 45-yard line. Nice interception and an even nicer vertical. Oh, yeah. This guy's an Athlete. There's no throwing it over this guy's head. He'll go up and get it. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 45-yard line. Big opening. Knocked out of bounds around the 34-yard line. the middle from the 29 yard line second down here we go here we go 
Caught open field. Nice play to set up first and goal. First and goal from the four, looking for Pater. Now he's scrambling. Dives and he's down. So the quarterback scrambles for about four yards on the play. a five-play, 45-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So the score now, 14-0. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. the stop at the 26. Second and nine. Ball on the 26-yard line. On the screen pass. At about the 25-yard line. sink on that series. Walker is back to receive. Booming kick. <laughs> down at the 38. The Red Hawks are having a ton of fun down there on the sidelines. You can just see that everything's clicking for them. It's looking easy. Now, remember, it's still early in this football game. And if I'm the defense on the other side of the football, I'm trying to come up with ways when we're on the sideline of what we can do to stop this powerful offense. Room around the corner. And he's tackled around the 47-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away right from that first down hey, marker. Hey, we got Mike 50, Mike 50, yo. <laughs> Complete. He's got room. Tackle made at about the 45. find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Here we go. Let's bring it. Let's go. Let's bring it. Let's bring it. Nice. 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 down. Right around the 40. He's under some heat. Fumble. The offense scoops it. They bring him down in the backfield.
And watch out, they're gonna bring the heat right here. The Red Hawks have found a way to shut this offense down, but hey, it's still early in a football game. Yeah, give them a lot of credit for the way they've played up to this point, but just based on watching these teams and preparing for this game, do not be surprised to see this offense eventually find itself and start to execute much better. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. They've been beaten soundly on both sides of the ball, and we haven't even gotten to the second quarter. Makes it out to about the 33. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. So he picked up a few on that run. Yeah, he did a nice job of using his blockers on that run. Really a nice read. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. First quarter comes to an end, and this one might raise a few eyebrows around the country. 14-0, Red Hawk. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Check nine, check nine. Red Hawk! Gets to about the 41-yard line. Third down, seven yards to go. Ball on their own 41. at the 49-yard line. Here we go! Fires quick after the receiver, and he can't make the grab. From their own 49-yard line, it's second down. Taken down at about the 41. And this play is number eight on the drive. He gets out to about the 38 yard line. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 38 yard line. Makes it out to about the 30. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Here we go. Green and eight. He gets out to about the 21 yard line. From the 21 yard line, it's first down. that quickly incomplete. Here's the 12th play of the drive. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. We've got third and 10. Ball on the 21 yard line. I love to see this quarterback respond when this offense really needs him to pick him up. Your quarterback's performance on third down is vital to your team's success. And here's the 14th play of the drive. They'll knock him down for a loss. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Second down, goal to go. Ball on the 11. Mike 35, Mike 35. Red Hawk, 68. Red Hawk, 68. 
Sets up a screen. Tailback's got it. And he's shoved out of bounds at the nine. And this is the 16th play of the drive. Had it intercepted. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing lane. Fourth down. This should be an easy field goal. It's up, and the field goal is good. UAB gets set to kick this one away. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. He gets out to about the 22-yard line. There's a flag down, and it looks like this one's coming back. So they'll move back after that costly penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's finally shoved out at the 46. The tight end picks up a lot of yardage on that one. The big guy isn't the fastest out there, but he sure is a load to bring down. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Of yardage. Now he tries to buy some time, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. They need to get it inside the 44. They'll wrestle him down in the backfield. You think about the challenges these two teams are facing. On one side, you've got to find a way to keep building on your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. And they got him for a loss. I like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it. The offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle. Two minutes to go in the half. He didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Get hard for a loss. Loss of three. Pretty good stand there. They weren't fooled at all by the offensive play call. Greenwell to punt. Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. The Redhawks came out of the blocks, and they were on fire, but they've really slowed down here. Yeah, give credit to the defense that they're facing. Early in the game, as you said, it seems like this offense couldn't do anything wrong, but the last few series, this defense has done a much better job of controlling their big play ability. He's going to try and scramble. He's wrapped up for the sack. Looking to dig themselves out of a little hole here after the sack. It's second and 14. Down, down. I got 
46 yard line. Slings it. The Blazers are going to call their second timeout. And that was a really well played series by the defense. And now they should come away with pretty good field position. So consider that a big stop. He'll take it from the 18, out of bounds at the 26-yard line. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. He's at midfield. He's tackled at about the 47-yard line. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy's amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. He scrambled, and he's going to be sacked. it out to his receiver in a hurry. They'll bring him down right around the 36-yard line. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. to the tight end incomplete. We've reached halftime, and I don't think too many people were expecting this. The Red Hawks in front by 11. Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. He's Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. A look at the first half stats would tell you that neither ground game was very effective. Less than three yards per rush. Both teams will continue to try to run it. When you're not having success, how important is it to still maintain that physical nature, keep trying to run the football? I think every team's different, but when you got teams that have balance, I think those are the teams that you see are more successful. You make the defense honor the run. Now listen, if they continue to stop it and they continue to put eight guys in the box, I think you got to pick your spots when you want to throw on first down. You can't be predictable and run it every single time, and you got to be a little bit balanced, but it definitely pays dividends later in ball games if you stick with the run throughout a whole game. David's ready to get back on that couch, get the remote, get all the games dialed up to watch what's going on around the country. Time to get you back for your second half. Brad and Kirk, ready to roll. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And he makes it out to about the 21-yard line. The Red Hawks continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Incomplete. From their own 21 yard line, it's second down. Now he's flushed and they got him. Mike 
Palmer was the intended target on the play. So that'll make it fourth down. Great hold by the defense. They were expecting the pass play, and they defended it very well. Walker is back awaiting the punt. He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He's at midfield. He's taken down at the 45. So you wonder what kind of excitement we'll see this time around. Gets out to about the 45-yard line. From the 45-yard line, second down. Tackle right around the 34. the 34-yard line. Second down. And he is drilled at the 26. From the 14 yard line, first down. And he's tackled at the 13. So it's another third down upcoming here. He's going to lose big yardage. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Drop back four yards on that one. Well, that's just a sound play by the defense. They dropped him well short of the line of scrimmage. Kicks up, and it splits the uprights. Nicholson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He sends this one deep. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. They couldn't get anything going on that last drive. If they're going to make a comeback in this game, it's going to have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. He's scrambling. He lost the ball. It's picked up, and he tackles him hard at the 18-yard line. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. So the sack makes this a second and long. Four down, four down. Mike 35, Mike 35. Ready. Brought down around the 16-yard line. Good job by the defense to overpower the offensive line and drop the back for a loss. Sack for a loss. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. The punter will line up deep in his own end zone. Walker 
Walker fields it at the 46. He gets hit out of bounds. It's the 37 yard line. It's a new possession for this offense, so what will it hold? In the shotgun and five wideouts. Second down now, 13 to go. Ball on the 40-yard line. Runs it left for a decent game. He's in trouble, and they got him. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only did they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun-shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. The punter is going to try to pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Well, that's what it's all about for these guys. If you can turn up the pressure, you'll create more chances for your defense. This aggressive defense has enjoyed multiple sacks tonight. They're still allowing the passing game to click. Yeah, the secondary and linebackers aren't able to make a play at the point of catch a lot of times. The last time this offense had the ball, it was three and out. Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. He's taken down at about the 23-yard line. Second and seven. Ball on the 23. Up the middle for a nice game. to the 40. He makes his way to about the 45. It's first and 10. Ball on the 45. Fires that quickly incomplete. Again. Man left, man left. Pull it down, pull it down. 35 is the flight. Here we go. Flight 80. Ah! Zipped it to the tailback incomplete. Right now he wants to get this kick away and change field position. So this one goes into the end zone, and that'll be a touchback. You know they'd like to do something a little more than they did on their last drive when they had to punt the ball away. Got it, and brought down immediately. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. to about the 41-yard line. That's three down and one to go. The Red Hawks lead it by two touchdowns. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Side, and down he goes at 
the 43-yard line. From their own 43-yard line, second down. Now he's scrambling. Brought down in the open field. He showed some excellent moves out there, more than you usually expect from a tight end. That was a big gain, and this offense keeps humming along. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 40. He's gobbled up in the backfield. This defensive end just showed us why he's much more than just a pass rusher. to about the 44-yard line. And this is the eighth play of the drive. And they're going to put six DBs on the field to counter that five-receiver look. This is caught. The defense lays him out. going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They'll take over here, ready to start a new series. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Fights forward to about the 30. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Here's the handoff, and he's taken down for a loss. And they'll take over on downs. They tried to sneak a little counter play by the defense. They weren't fooled that time. That's a great play to cause the turnover on downs. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Feeds it to the back. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. From the 26-yard line, it's second down. Just under three to go in regulation. Inside the 10, and a huge touchdown play. Great looking play by the offense as the halfback took it in for the score. Here's a play that was well designed and well executed. It can't get much better than that. So they had their chances to stop him, but in the end, he comes up with a big play. And he hits the PAT. Quick two-play, 29-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Nicholson has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. From his own goal line, 
He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The Red Hawks have really been all over the place. They're playing like a defense possessed. I love to watch a defense just pin its ears back and just fly to the football. They are playing with a reckless attitude, and it's really paid off because it's set up their offense to be able to score points. And the defense stopped them cold on fourth down during their last drive. Let's see if this offense can reestablish some confidence after being stopped on downs the last time they were out on the field. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. Sure, it's disappointing, but this is the kind of mechanical flaw you can fix with practice and coaching. Strike complete. They'll bring him down around the 35 yard line. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. They bring him down. Out of bounds at the 32 yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 25. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. Why in the world would the offense run a route short of the first down? That just baffles me every time I see that. He might want it all here and does. Makes a catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. So they go to the air on fourth down when they needed a big play, and boy, do they come through. And he converts the extra point. been an impressive game by this defensive lineman. Any coach in the country will tell you to have a great defensive player, he's got to have intensity and he's got to have an edge to him. This young man has demonstrated that, and I don't know if I've seen anybody play with this kind of effort all year long. And I think the thing that the offense is struggling to stop is just his overall speed. The offensive line is underestimating, and quite honestly, I just don't think they have the physical manpower to be able to slow him down to prevent him from making plays. Just over a minute left. He's going right. UAB will take their first time out of the half. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. Fires quickly. Touchdown. And that touchdown gets these guys right back in the game. We're looking at a one-score ball game now. the extra point. And he's taken down at the 40-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. The whistle hasn't sounded yet. They still have to snap the ball and make sure they don't make any mistakes. Mike's 50, Mike's 50. Run, 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 run. And he's taken down at the 38. The running back gets two on the carry. From the 38-yard line, second down. at the 28-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this 
is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long range yards. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. Takes a knee. That's the end of the ball game, and our final score in this one, 24-17. Red Hawk. That does it for this edition of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.